I often tout on this channel, if you can't get into Mr. X's humor, that's me, I'm Mr. X, you need to watch like 60 episodes. And either at the end of those 60 episodes or videos, you're either really, really gonna love me or you're gonna hate me even more. And I can almost say the same thing about anime. So a couple years ago, I started to get into some anime simply because some statues that fall in the anime realm are amazing. And usually when I buy a statue, it's because I absolutely love it. And then I get into the anime. This is different. I got into the anime first, and then I absolutely fell in love with Satima. Is that how you say it? Satima? Satima. Satima. This guy. As the Extreme channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're looking at XM Studios One Four Scale One Punch Man. Now as alluded to in the intro, this is from an anime and it's one of my favorite animes, arguably maybe my favorite because I just absolutely love this character. I'm still at the end of season one, so I haven't seen anything beyond that, but I've actually seen this scene that this statue is based off of. And this guy is hilarious. He is who I strive to be in real life. Everything from his mannerisms to his no give a shit attitude just makes him awesome. A little bit of background is one day he was a normal guy bored with his life and he ran into a giant crab monster that this little kid drew nipples on. You cannot make this shit up. He fought that crab monster to protect the kid and he decided, you know what, I wanna be a superhero. So every day he did 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups and essentially just exercised. And now for some reason that hasn't been revealed yet, I don't know if it's ever revealed, he is the strongest superhero out there, but nobody knows who he is. Because in this world, they actually rank superheroes. So once he finds out about that after he's taken on an apprentice, he's kind of trying to up his ranking. But the funny thing is he just hates other people and this no give a shit attitude is awesome. And some of the lines he drops just have me literally rolling. You can actually check it out on Netflix. I highly recommend it. If you don't like subtitles, you probably won't dig it but it is just a hilarious guy. And for the longest time, I've wanted a statue of him to go with my anime line, which is right behind the camera. I have Dragon Ball Z, Devil Man vs. Anon, uh, Berserk, and then I have some other pieces coming in and he's gonna go right with all them. Now, this was not my first choice for a statue. I actually wanted Sume's right here. It's a one six scale, which I prefer one four scale. So I may pick that up if I can get it for a decent price down the road because to me that shows a little bit more of his power, but I love the episode where he actually broke this meteor. So the meteor was coming to earth, all the other superheroes were trying to stop it and they were failing. So he did what he does and with one punch, he destroyed the meteor. That's why he's called One Punch Man. He can defeat any enemy with one punch. He's also essentially almost invulnerable. Like I said, they really haven't explained that yet. I don't know if they ever explain it. And I figured this is an XM Studio statue. They do an amazing job. So I took this as second choice. Now I'm gonna tell you more about that when we get to the value part of the review, because we're gonna do an extreme review on this guy, we're gonna look at every single part of him, and while it's not the one I wanted, I still really am impressed by it. So let's kick it off and actually let's start with the concept. And I think the concept's incredibly important on this because if you don't know the storyline, you can't tell just by looking at this piece. The base is totally made up of the meteor that he destroyed. The meteor itself is the base, and as you move up, you see a smoke cloud because it's blowing apart because he flew up to it or jumped up to it. It's not really clear whether he can fly or not, even though he has a cape. And he busted through the middle of this piece. You can't quite see the middle. We'll look at the close-up in paint and sculpt. Now, while it looks like he's in a flying mode, especially with the rocks everywhere and his cape in the back, like I said, he more jumped up to destroy it, but he's breaking through it. Depending which switch out you have, they both have that nonchalant attitude. Again, he kind of did this as a chore because nobody else could get it done and it's so easy for him. He's in his ghetto costume. And I say ghetto because in the anime, it looks like he's wearing dish gloves. This home sewn costume, this one actually looks a little more professional. And everything about him, I just love that nonchalant attitude. So it's a very action dynamic statue. He's jumping through the rock. And if you know that scene from the anime, I think it means a lot more. I had zero interest in this particular statue until I actually saw the episode from season one that encompasses this. Then I was like, yeah, you know what? I could definitely see that in my collection. So if you know the anime, I think the concept's a four out of five. They took an iconic part from the anime. It shows his power. It's done very well, the dynamic aspect of the statue. I, so I give it a four out of five on the concept. Now with design, I usually do an unboxing video and assembly, but I had a lot of issues with that. So I'll kind of just describe that to you right now. 
the base is one piece. His waist down is one piece that keys in. It's a large uh, key and peg. His waist and cape are another piece. His arms come off, they're just keyed in, or his uh, wrists and hands, I should say. And then there's two portrait op options. Let's look at those. Those one to me is more of the nonchalant, looks bored, which he always does. And the other one, he's a little more serious, which makes sense because he's in the middle of saving the world. Now it came with the XM Studios envelope. So I assume in here is the art print and directions. And it looks like the seller kept the art print, which I wasn't gonna say anything to the seller, but uh, the cape had some damage to it. Check it out right here. I wasn't gonna say anything, but the fact that he kept the art print and then also uh, two of the pieces that are attached, they actually broke off. I used glue to put them back on so it was no problem. I'll just kind of mention it to the seller um, and I'm not gonna give him a rating because I did buy this on eBay. I'll talk more about that. Let's get the dimensions. The widest point is probably 17 and a half inches. And the tallest point is right under 25 inches, which is a huge problem because it's not gonna fit where I wanna put it. That's what she said. XM Studios website had different dimensions on it. So that's a little concerning, but the deepest part with some of the smoke billowing out is probably about 17 inches as well. So I think the design's done very well. I would have liked a different switch out. I'm not a huge fan of either of these portraits. I like how the meteor is broken up. You can see pieces of him, so it really helps with the fluidity of this statue. It truly looks like a moment frozen in time. So I also give the design a four out of five on this piece. It's done very well. Now, even though I'm giving this four out of fives, nothing's really blowing my skirt up. Yes, I'm wearing a skirt. I'm just kidding. You know I have nothing on below my shirt. So uh, let's look at the paint and sculpt. And my first impressions are it's really, really good. You know, when you're bringing an anime into life, you gotta consider, do I do my own twist on it? How realistic do I make a 2D version into a 3D? And I think they did a great job with this. So let's dive in with this crazy base. And I like what they did with the color effect. It almost looks like it's imploding from within because when he did hit it, the force of his punch is so strong, it kind of blew it up. And they did that with those orange and reds kind of all over the inside and the outside. I wish that the bottom, the circle there was actually hollow to show that he actually flew through it. So I think that's a little bit of more of a design miss. The smoke looks okay. Parts of it just look strange like that little chunk right there. And it's almost too white and gray for me. I think if they had some type of uh, more translucent resin might've helped. But then you see more of the outer meteor on the outside. The meteor does look cool. I like the shading that's, that's in there of the uh, fire effect. So I think the base could have been better, especially the smoke effect, but uh, it's decent. It's definitely very decent. Now, Satama here, uh, he has texture all over his boot, his outfit, and it's a different type of texture, but you see tons of wrinkles and folds and creases seam lines running up and i like what they did with the black shading uh, really insinuates he went through the meteor that's why his costume is so dirty i think it's not too much not too little so it's very smart this isn't a super buff guy he probably has more muscles here than he does in the actual anime because it's very basic 2d but i like that they did that kind of the modern twist that they added and even some of the detail like look at the zipper on his costume right here really well done belt down below. So I think they did a nice job. There's the rock pieces around him. Up close, they look a little bit of a plastic effect, but farther away, not so bad. I love the cape. Again, they added all this shading into it. And I believe, I have to rewatch, but I believe his cape is more of a, a white color. So I think some of that is the mix from the meteor. But I like how it's creased over. Obviously it is sculpted and it flows really well with the dynamic aspect of the statue, kind of that action pose. And then I don't think this is comic, or not comic, I don't think this is anime accurate. I'd have to relook the, the pins here that hold the cape on, it may be. His portrait, very plain, which again, you have to decide whether you're going to be 100% true to the anime or you can do your own twist. And to me, this is a little bit more true. You really never see him with a serious look. He's either mad slash annoyed or bored. That's kind of a good summary of him. 
I definitely am going to display the other portrait because I think it shows more of his personality. This is kind of what he's made more about, and it's more anime accurate. No, smaller nose, the mouth just together right there, where here you actually see like an indentation, a little bit bigger nose. Then obviously the expression with the eyes. I think the, the skin color is, is accurate. So really a lot of good things. A few things I would change or tweak with the paint and sculpt, but overall, very nice piece. All right, paint. I don't think it's perfect, but I like it a lot. I think uh, it, it a little bit better on the base could have been done, but for the most part, it accomplishes what you wanted to. Like I said, if there was some translucent resin, that might have, might have helped. But uh, paint's a four out of five on this piece. Sculpt, you know, I don't think it's as strong as the paint, but I don't think it's deserving of going less than that. I don't think it's deserving of a three out of five. So for some of the reasons we talked about, we'll give that a four out of five as well. Now value on this piece, so they only made 299 of these, which is usually a great value. Now there are a lot of Saitama statues out there in, in different scales. Um, like I said, I wish this actually had some of the monsters he was killing. That's, that's a, a big thing that's missing. I scored this for 510 bucks on eBay. I think that's a fantastic deal because retail and shipping is closer to about $1,000 depending on where you live in the world. But it's not a highly sought after statue either, hence the low edition size and why I got a good deal on it. So I, I think I could definitely get my money back despite some of the flaws in it. I think it'd be close to get my money back. So I'll give it a, even at that deal, I give it a three out of five on the value. And part of it is my seller's fault. But does this have the X factor? Is it a five out of five statue? No, I don't think it is because like I said, with, with this character, One Punch Man, I wanna see some of the creatures he's destroying. That's what he's known for. I, uh, so the concept's a little bit off. I wouldn't give it that. The paint and sculpt are done very well. It does take an iconic scene. Something about this, I'm just not feeling it as much as I thought I would. And it's weird that I gave it scores for, you know, fours and threes, but I think overall it's just a three for me. So I think that I'm still on the hunt for the Sume one, but I will probably, if I ever get it, display it next to this guy, because then it's kind of two iconic scenes next to each other. So if you haven't, again, I highly recommend you check out the series. Let me know in the comments if you've seen the series or if you're gonna check it out. And I say to let me know in the comments because you could win a free statue with that. We will be giving all of these statues away, plus additional ones at every 5,000 subscriber milestone. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away, plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Thanks so much, guys. If you like stuff like this, make sure to check out some of my other videos. Hit that picture of me at the bottom and then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Also, on the way out, if you could drop me a like, I really appreciate it. It helps the channel. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Take care.